here's a little uh, video compilation of what's going on over at CNN. And we've got uh, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. This woman has just screwed up everything. But with that Democrat privilege, you never get fired and you never have to resign. But it wasn't just the president who got it wrong a year or so ago. I want to play for you what you said about inflation last year. Listen to this. Is there a risk of inflation? Um, I, I think there's a small risk and I think it's manageable. I don't anticipate that inflation is going to be a problem, but it is something that we're watching very carefully. Was it a mistake, Madam Secretary, to downplay this inflation risk? Did that contribute to the problems we're all seeing right now? Well, um, look, I, I think I was wrong then about um, the path that inflation um, would take. As I mentioned, there have been unanticipated and large shocks to the economy that have boosted uh, energy and food prices and um, supply bottlenecks that have affected our economy badly that I didn't, at the time didn't fully understand. The White House concede that the Fed calling inflation transitory was a mistake? I think the White House concedes that them also calling it transitory was a mistake because you saw it's not just uh, President Biden, his top economic advisors, also Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, who earlier tonight told Wolf Blitzer uh, that she was wrong to call it transitory when she said that inflation had posed only a small risk. That was something that you heard not just from experts outside the administration, but repeatedly from officials here at the White House. I hate to tell anyone to be on Twitter. You guys all know my feelings about Twitter. But when the White House was coming out with that, that inflation is transitory, meaning it's just going to be this little thing for now and then it's going to go away. Every sensible person on Twitter was saying this is complete nonsense. And we were going to find out that it's complete nonsense in, in a month or two. But notice Biden, we showed you the cold open talking about inflation, saying it's not going to happen or it'll be temporary or transitory or whatever, or yelling transitory inflation. Nobody gets fired. Nobody gets blamed. Think about your own life for a moment. So I run a business here, right? I have a production company that runs this show. I have a business manager who handles most of our finances and I've got a producer over there sitting there uh, who handles the production of the show. They're responsible for making sure that everything is working properly and that the budgets make sense and we can do the things that we want to do and we can produce the content we want to produce, et cetera, et cetera. If I found out that they were spending far more money than we had, or that they were cooking the books, or they forgot to carry the one. That's a big one. Uh, I would probably fire somebody. Michael, I'm looking at you. You could be in a lot of trouble. Um, so that is the point. Nobody gets fired. But I think in their world, they're writing it off. They just don't know what a write-off is, but they're the ones who are writing it off. There's a little Seinfeld for you. Um, you get the point. They, can, they all just fail up and they don't actually produce anything. But what's interesting is there's been a little shift in the mainstream media. They're starting to ask the right questions, right? So I try to give credit where credit is due. Wolf is kind of addressing the right question with Janet Yellen. And here's CNN uh, kind of admitting that uh, maybe this has a little something to do with Biden and his policies. Road trips are going to be way more expensive this summer. We now have nine states where the average is four dollars and ninety cents mm -hmm. a gallon or higher. The latest being Arizona, Illinois, and New York. California now stands at six fifteen a gallon. As Pete mentioned, the national average four sixty two a gallon. That's up forty four cents from a month ago. The problem is that supply just cannot keep up with really strong demand as people travel more. The problem is that supply can't keep up with demand. Well, it was keeping up with demand until Joe Biden became president. And we do know this has nothing to do with Ukraine because in the year that Biden was president before Ukraine and Russia, gas still went up a dollar a gallon. We've covered that many times, but they're at least addressing there are some problems right now and things are expensive and people are gonna have to spend more on their road trips and everything else. Here's ABC's Jonathan Carl talking about inflation and he doesn't want to admit it, but he sort of has to. If you look at the numbers, uh, inflation really started to rise almost exactly when, when, when Biden came in the White House. Now, now yeah, obviously- well, that, that argues my point, uh, uh, doesn't it? But 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 look at the, look at this chart on gas prices uh, just since February. If if you look at the, I mean, it's it is a, it is a shocking increase that, do, you know, doesn't you, correspond. You, you, you gotta love it. Like they're just such activists that even as he's saying, well, it has something to do with Biden. But, 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 but. Like they're just so awful. But they they cannot hide the truth when it's so obviously right in front of you. Right. That's the thing. 